Welcome everybody, all my fellow Vikings out there. My name is Jacob. I'm part of Blue Porsche Gaming. This will be the first video I do of this game. I fell in love with this thing. I think anybody watching this video, they know that this game is awesome. So, I just wanted to show my portion of what I'm doing. And I know everyone's uploading their builds and having a ton of fun. Figure I threw mine into the hat there. This is an old one. This is the first place that I started. This was actually maybe the second place that I started, aside from the initial camp, you know, putting up a one crafting table and a bed and just praying that you can survive the night. A little past that here. Found a nice spot, really scorched the map, uh, looking through this place, but it did well. Now you can see there's no fires lit, nothing's happening. This is a ghost town for me now. It was a beautiful spot. I had a lot of fun. I learned the mechanics of this game. Valheim was actually the very first PC game that I used mouse and keyboard for. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for that, but I've always been a console guy. So this is the first game that I, I, you know, I heard controller and keyboard. They work both well on PC, but, you know, I figured I'm going to force myself. Controller side, we're doing the keyboard thing. I got to say, I loved it. So I really dove into this game, watched a ton of videos from other content creators making stuff, you know, just did things to my best. I saw that going through, you know, the, the meadows, the forest, and part of the swamp was about where the majority, I kind of forgot the percentage, but it was the majority of the players, you know, get through. So, ah, what is this? I left this door open before this video. God darn it. Anyways, close this up. So everybody, you know, gets through the forest usually, but it's the swamp that uh, I hear a lot of players drop off on, or, you know, a lot of teams fail on. Um, it's tough, you know, it's disgusting, it's dirty, bone mass is a pain in the butt, but uh, I've told myself, you know what, I'm going to do this game legitimate, I'm going to get my cart, I'm going to go chop some trees, I'm going to go pickaxe some rocks, and do it legitimate, and have a lot of fun with this. And then I beat bone mass, and guys, I gotta tell you what, I started looking up some console commands. So this place used to be, you know, this place is a house now. I own this place. It's a good little portal uh, place for me to go to now, I guess. But this, I want to show everybody is my home. But first, we got to say goodbye to the pigs. We'll be back. You know, some resources down there. But I want to show you guys what I've been doing. It took about 100 hours. Let's see what's happening. These portals are cool. My goodness, they help you. And a little bit longer, a little bit longer. It should be here. Here we go. Welcome to my new home, everybody. This is Castle Jacob. I haven't really named it yet. If anybody's got a good name, you know, leave it in the comments for me. But this is it. I use console commands, no mods. And uh, basically the no cost, you know, debug mode, flying around kind of thing. But this is all made legitimate using in-game tactics, I guess. You know, no mods, like I said. This is it. Check this guy out. I built a lot. I started with the wall. You know, I don't, uh, to be honest with you, I don't really know why I made the wall first. I should have you know, started with a compound. But uh, this is everything. So let's start with kind of the, the less lesser cool parts. You know, this wall. Again, I think I was initially planning on doing this all the way around, but just a pain in the butt. This is actually the first big thing I did, this tower. I uh, made my own little uh, spiral staircases. I didn't know he actually unlocked some. Uh, that's the one thing. So I did everything through the swamp. The only thing that I technically, I guess, cheated for, you know, got without was uh, the roofs. Just because I, I haven't been to the plains yet. I didn't get tar to craft these cool black, uh, like, scale-looking roofs, but or nice tile roofs. Uh, but that's the one thing that I, I will admit I didn't do. Uh, soon here, we're going to look at the map of where my uh, new castle is. I really went through the entire map. I loaded the full map on my game and went to probably five, six different locations to find and really scouted it out. This one, you can kind of see it in the, the small map. It's um, It's got a little tiny baby bit of plains right next to some black forest. So I, you know, eventually when we get inside the castle, I'll look at this, yeah, made matriculations and crenulations on this guy. You can shoot enemies down there, theoretically. Not too many enemies down there, but you know, I, I while building this castle, I really just wanted to make sure that uh, in the you know I know this game is doesn't have sieges against it, but uh, you know I, I I like to imagine my you know my army of knights being able to to defend this place pretty nicely. Cute little bridge. I think it's decently troll proof. I haven't had that problem yet. 
But um, yeah, this is the main entrance. I will eventually build like a gatehouse. Uh, guys, this is just the beginning of this. I really wanted to build a castle to be livable in so that I can then play the game. So, you know, a hundred hours into this, I can finally play the game again. My goodness. But yeah, so that's the base outside of the castle. Oh, sorry, planes. Yeah, so I wanted a little bit of planes because I knew that there was some uh, farming that options that I needed eventually. So I just barely got into turnips. There's some carrots, cute little maypoles. I'm glad I got those before the summer update was over. Um, or the, the, you know, fall update was in. Here's a private little forest that I have. Maybe I spawned a couple of deer in. You know, I think a little evidence of that is coming up here. But, uh, yeah, look at that guy. Two-star deer. Sometimes they die. Sometimes enemies spawn in. I'm kind of really figuring that out. Um, but, yeah, this is kind of where, you know, my, my Viking, you know, have a long day. You know, go stroll through the forest. Be a part of nature again. But also be protected. You know, everybody needs a private little forest. There's a little lake back there. Go fish and catch some fish. Throw them in there. Um, yeah, a ton of fun. There's a couple wards up just to protect things. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Every once in a while, deer dies. I don't really know how. Gotta have a private beach and a log that I just kind of forgot to get rid of. But anyways, you know, everything's not perfect, you know? So, this is my first big build of something you know i played like minecraft beforehand uh with my girlfriend and you know we have a lot of fun but this is just like you know what i need a home i don't know how many people out in the world actually developed or built a castle um so i kind of feel you know a little unique you know how many people throughout history have designed a castle here we go inside of this and um yeah this is okay so that was the first tower sorry that was the first tower. Um, I, I eventually will get spiral staircases. Yeah, eventually I'll unlock more stuff and fill it out. So everything's not flush with stuff right now. Here's a kitchen. You know, just kind of got basic stuff going on. I really like you can change the color of text, you know. Getting everything done. Got my smokehouse going here. Um, but yeah, it, eventually I know there's more stuff to add to this. I'll add it there. Add more decorations. Here's a little side entrance. Initially I built the castle. You know, all this kind of stuff was extra. I wanted it to be impenetrable. Um, I guess the outside wall makes it so. It's but, you know, uh, inside it's just for me. So there's the throne room. This was like one of the main things that I wanted. You know, if I can, you know, sit in, you know, sit on your throne room's nice. Not stand. Let's try to sit. And can we get it? There we go. Yeah, this is what it's all about right here. Like I said, you know, need to put more, you know, animals on the walls, trophy stuff, all like that. Uh, we're going to get into the upstairs. This is more like the living quarters of this. I got to say, I was pretty happy with the staircase when I made that. Yeah. This is, anyways, this is the living quarters. This is King Go. You know, King Viking. Viking King Viking lives. Here we go up south to, again, you know, protect my castle from all the, the made-up enemies. But, uh, you know, I figured if this was actually a real castle put out in, you know, medieval time or, you know, somewhere in the world that I can actually, you know, do a decent job of defending, it's probably like a single family castle, you know. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, those roofs, I really didn't want to redo them, so I hope I did a little bit of forgiveness for, you know, getting those a little bit early. But I think they're cool and just didn't want to redo them. These towers are a little bit different. That one goes to the bottom. The other one had my portal room underneath it. This one, you know, goes up. This is the same. We're not going to go up there. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. I do like these uh, iron bars. It kind of gives it more of like a rusted military kind of actual purpose look to it. While the inside's very nice and, you know, wood. And this is actually the first instance of a cartography table that I've actually built as well. Kind of cool. Can't, if you can't tell, uh, flags for this castle are white and black. That might be a cool thing to have in the name of it. I'm not too sure. Little terrace for a king, you know. Gotta hang out. I like that my castle has a lot of just different relaxation spots in it. This taunt tower, my donjon. Um, not too sure what to do with it yet. Again, I know I'm gonna get the spiral staircases soon. I know there's more in the game. I know there's more drafting opportunities. Um, here's a little courtyard. I want to build something fun with it. A little unique object. And then this is my quarters. You no know, kingly, kingly sweet, I guess. And add a lot to it soon. But it's good for now. You know, it gets the job done. Pretty cozy. I'm just excited to play the game again. You know, all of this setup is just, you know, it's fun. I really do enjoy it. It took plenty of time to do. Um, but this, uh, okay, so we're going to go down here first. But 
what's it called, going in here. This is the initial little um, uh, planes, like little tower, I guess. Yeah, here we go on my map here. I finally decided to do this. So this is where I started, you know, first home, second home. You know, this is where I explored the map legitimately. All these dots here are places that I went to legitimately. And then flew around probably like five, six different places that I said, found this place with a trader nearby, with a mountain, with the Howling uh, Chambers, whatever it's called, you know, for the, the Hilder DLC, right next to each other. So I had to build it. I wanted to keep this tower, you know, implement it somehow. I haven't perfectly done that yet. But like I said, this is going to be, I think, maybe like an armory uh, kind of area for, for myself, I guess, to, you know, look through. I'm a solo player, so this is all for myself. Here's a cute little treasury I'll have. I think you put in bronze stuff. You know, I'm not too sure yet. But, you know, as my Viking self progresses through this game, I'll put some valuable things in here. A little door goes into the throne room. The throne room, there we go. You know, quick access everywhere. Like I said, it's just me playing this game, so as long as it works for me, it's fine. But here we go. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the plains biome here. Every blue moon, Death Steedo comes in. I uh, gotta kind of deal with them. But yeah, this is uh this is how I'm going to play the game from now on. If anybody wants, you know, information on how, you know, I built something, how I did something, you know, questions about, you know, how they can implement in theirs in their uh castle, I'd be happy to. Um this thing was a ton of fun to build. I don't really know if I'll do it again. Um unfortunately I do know that the black marble is coming up for me eventually, and who knows what the Ashlands will do. Oh, this is my favorite little part. This is my little garden. You know, just for my kingly self. But yeah, uh, I'm not too sure what else the future's gonna hold for this game, but I wanted to, uh, you know, establish myself now that I've reached my mile point of beating Bone Mass. And uh, yeah, we'll see kind of how it goes from here on out. Uh, I know, like I said, Black Marble, I want to eventually put a Black Marble uh, castle on top of a snow peak somewhere, so that might be some Ashlands uh, or Mistlands, you know, adventure for me. But uh, this is it. You know, I, I really hope everybody enjoyed it. I don't want to carry this on for too long. But uh, yeah, let me know. Hit me up in the comments if you have anything. I will put out some more videos on this and, you know, my exploits of this game. Maybe some other fun things to build. But I uh, hope everybody has a great day and thanks for watching. Peace.